Carl Redwood and the community's hard work. So Carl, please come forward. Uh, I just wanted to start off with three words. Great, late, and wait. <laughs> It's, very, it's a great thing that we're here today being able to announce that the master plan process has finally started. We've been trying to get it started for some time, and now we're in the midst of this process. The master plan will help provide vision and a general guide for what's going to happen in the Hill District for many, many years to come. But the more important thing around the master plan process is it's a challenge to all of us to really involve the community even more in helping to develop that vision and push that vision forward. Uh, but it's, it's a great process that we're about to undertake. But the, the product of that process, as Jake was saying, is really due to the, the people that are involved and make sure that it happens and make sure it represents the future needs and interests of this community. But great was the first word I had to say. Great that we're moving with the process. Late, I do need to note that we're six months late in starting this master plan process. We were supposed to start back in November, uh, and it's been quite a while just trying to pull some of the pieces together to make it work. But because we're six months late, there is one, one provision in the Community Benefits Agreement that allows the Penguins to submit a master plan for the 28 acres, or where the current arena is, in February of next year if we're not done with our master plan. So on one hand, we've got to work really hard to try to get done as soon as possible. But on the other hand, it may be impossible for us to be done with the master plan before February 2010. So it may be necessary for the pens to wait before they put forward their, their plan for the Lower Hill District to city planning until we have a chance to really discuss it as a community. Because the ultimate problem will develop if the pens plan is not supported by the Hill District community. But I think it's great that we're moving forward. We're moving forward late. We may have to wait later. But the most important thing for today is it's great that we're moving forward. Thank you, Anybody have uh, any questions? Rob, Stephanie, do you want to say anything on behalf of the URA? Or? No, we're excited about getting it on. Um, I, I, I think it's a, I think that map really starts to talk to all of the market potential of the Hill District. There is stuff happening. This is a, this is a river of water flowing downstream that we're jumping into. This is nothing that's starting from scratch. The big question is when we can align all that excitement in, in, a, in an organized fashion and all to a common vision. I think I think that finally the the, the pure and uh, over, overwhelming potential of the hill can be met. So it's a, it's a great it's a great day, and I, I, I too appreciate Carl's ability to keep kicking us, uh, moving mm -hmm. us forward. Right. Yes, sir. Um, I'm 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 you Don't get discouraged when you, when you're falling down. Keep your head up and keep going, right. and don't don't look back. You got you going ahead. Let's go. Right. 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 You know you got it. And if, if, you, if you're mad about something, just bear it until you know. If you get upset or something, just let, let it go and tell God, let us bleed for my part. That's all. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> to Carl Redwood's point, if the community does not have their community plan in place by February 2010, would you then be willing to ask the Penguins to wait on theirs? Until I, the I, think, I, think, I think clearly we've suggested, and I think if the Penguins were standing here, they'd agree that uh, they want to do everything they can to work with the community. So who knows what's going to happen between now and February of 2010, but I can't see any process that doesn't include collaboration between this community, the Penguins, our office, the URA, uh, because I think it would be foolish on everyone's part if we don't have that collaboration. So I see no reason to not think that that will be the case. And of course, uh, you know, Carl and the community will uh, make sure that uh, uh, everybody has an opportunity to have their voice into whatever it is the Penguins decide they want to do down on the 28 acres. We've committed to that from the beginning. And I think the Penguins also recognize, having gone through this process uh, up until now, uh, that the community does have an interest. And uh, I see no reason to believe that they won't grant us the opportunity to have good dialogue and input into that process. So yes, we, we think it absolutely makes sense. Uh, I'd like to hope that in the future, that we're just not up here on the hill looking down at all the activity going that way. We would like for visitors that come to the, the new arena to be able to come up here and have 
things to do, places to stop and maybe in a gift shop or whatever. They need to be able to come from down there up here and, 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 and frequent the whole area. You know, this, sure. this is what I envision for, for, for the hill because of the proximity of where we are and where they are. We just don't want to be up here at the end bottom right there across sure. looking down at all the activity when it should be just as much activity up here to draw them up here. Right. And, and we agree, and I think that's what today's announcement is really all about, and that was uh, a common recurring theme from all residents in the Hill District is we have to make sure we capitalize not on just a 28 acre parcel that abuts downtown Pittsburgh and is on the lower part of the hill, but make sure that that continues throughout above Crawford Roberts up into this center part of the hill and then all the way up into the uh, remainder of the Hill District. So this is a comprehensive master plan and RFP process that will include the entire Hill District, not just the 28 acres or the lower part of the hill. So we couldn't agree more. Um, and how do we link all of these different numbers as identified on the map together to have a one a comprehensive master plan. And that's really what uh, uh, this process will allow us to do. So point well taken. Mayor, just to piggyback though, I think what Daniel was attempting to say is in the agreement, and Carl mentioned this, in the agreement, uh, if you don't have the master plan, the 28 acre master plan development can be offered up. So what assurances can the community hear from you and Councilwoman Panny that if in fact the penguins, because we saw when they wanted the development rights to go forward, even though there were the community saying, wait before you give up the development rights, if in fact that comes in February, can the community um, have the support of your office as well as Councilwoman Payne's office to make sure that no presentation of the 28 acres master plan will be done without 